On the way down screaming Yo, what's going on everyone? It's Shinjedi here. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys my Q&A answers video. Now what you're seeing in the background is some gameplay from my friend Shin Dimwet. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. So feel free to go check him out. But let's go ahead and get right into this Q&A. And this first question is going to come from Shin Swoop or Ahmed. And he asks, how did you know Leapy Frog and how much do you like him? Now, he can get annoying at times, but other than that, he is a pretty good friend. He does Call of Duty videos as well. Campaign walkthroughs, zombies, and speaking of zombies, what I don't understand is why Activision is taking down zombies videos from minor channels because of copyright issues, but with all the bigger YouTubers, they're absolutely fine with it. That is absolutely ridiculous. I don't get it. So, and how did I know him? I saw him on some of Skateboard's videos, and I wanted to help him meet up with Skateboard more frequently, so I just messaged him saying that I could do that, and he added me, and we went from there. So I hope that answered that question for you. This first, er, I just answered the first question, duh. This next question comes from Nexius, and he asks, What is your favorite Call of Duty game to knife in? Well, I'm going to have to go with either Black Ops 1 or Call of Duty Ghosts. I would rate Black Ops 3, but again, I don't have a PS4. But I have seen knifing gameplay on Black Ops 3, and it looks like it's going to be kind of a challenge. But if you know me, then I like challenges. And Black Ops 1 and Ghosts, as far as I've seen, have pretty good hit detection. But, on, but if you don't know what you're doing, then you're going to die rather quickly. So I hope that answered that for you. Kratos Knives, no not Bond Kratos, asked, Tyler, where's the third? No idea, dude. But I actually did end up hitting a mixed quad while playing Drop Zone on Arcade in Modern Warfare 3 back when I was in WWK. I'll let you take a look at that in case you missed it. Like I said, it was just a mixed quad on Arcade, and so it's not really that good. So, hope that answered that for you. Axe King asks, why aren't you on the Axe King fanboy list? What I want to know is what it takes to get on there. Ben Kulski asks, what is the best clip on Call of Duty you've ever hit? Well, I'm going to have to say my Hilo Scout Bank that I hit on Stormfront, and in case you missed that, I'll let you have a look. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was actually the first Hilo Scout Bank that I've hit in my life. So, that holds a special place in my heart. And this last question comes from It's Jubbly, and he asks, What is the best bank shot you've ever hit on Black Ops 1? And he actually did tell me to show it, but you don't have to tell me to show a clip because I always plan on showing you that clip whenever you ask me those kinds of questions. So I'm gonna have to say that my best bank shot on Black Ops 1 in my opinion would have to be the roof bank that I hit while playing Domination on Cracked. It was a pretty nice revenge bank and just for you, I'll let you have a look at it in case you didn't see it yet. Kill confirmed. Securing Bravo. Yeah, so that is a pretty nice bank. It was a triple bank, but I don't really like counting banks off of the floor, but that's just my own opinion. That's why I don't look for floor ricochet tubes whenever I look for those back in the day. 
And I think that's going to be it for this Q&A. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And again, big thanks to Dimwit for allowing me to use this gameplay. Again, I'll have a link to his channel in the description. So if you have a question for a future Q&A, then all you have to do is just leave a comment or tweet me your question using the hashtag JediQ&A. All of the information in order to contact me will be in the description. So until next time, that's it for me. This has been Shin Jedi, and I'm out. Peace.